Okay, everybody, here is a video for this week's auction. Um, it's another really, really interesting auction. Um, not a ton of stuff, really, but, I mean, a good amount. Probably over at 10 o'clock, I bet. Um, let's see, so we'll start somewhere over here in front. Here's some stuff from the World War II uh, hospital in Colorado. Looks like a bunch of... Uh, Maybe orders and letters and, I mean, something that you should spend some time going through. President of the General Motors Club. Somebody from National Broadcasting Company. Telephone and Telegraph Company. I don't know, there might be a really, really good signature or two in there. I'm sure there is you know we just we're just not really that kind of auction where we go through I mean this much stuff we just don't have time There's some unique unique pieces in here um, so yeah come to preview come check it out this lady was just kind of an archivist and for this hospital Kind of like no one even really asked her to do it. She just did, I guess. Look at that. Colorado Society of Musicians. First annual Houdini Memorial Program. Pictures of guys with um, the onion skin paper of what they, you know, how they got their purple hearts, where they were from. Awesome stuff. Poets and Armor. Fitzsimmons General Hospital. A lot of poems, you know, solicited. Ration oh, books, ration postcards. Books. Dang. Some comics. More photos. World War II photos of guys in, from Fitzsimmons. Hospital, some aspect or another, excellent uniform reference. Some gems, guys, some real gems in here. You know, the people that consigned it didn't really want us to break everything up. Oh, sorry, Chad. You know, and sold individually. You know what? We kind of did kind of in between, you know? We could have taken these out, sold them individually, or broken them up over several auctions. So at least, you know, it's kind of kept together, yet still, still broken up. So. Radio scripts. World War II. Yeah, it's cool for the story of 1944. War, war, war. Looks like they had a bowling alley in the hospital. So, yeah. More stuff that Chad's putting in there. Yeah, just tons of Annual up. report. Story mm -hmm. Oh, shit. My camera. Shoot. My camera's not even centered there. Like I get. Criticism on. I'm trying to do better. That Mack truck trailer lighted hood ornament. Killer. Great stuff. British paratrooper knife. That's what that is. Seems like, you know, because they use those for knots and stuff, I know. Maybe it's not paratrooper, maybe, I don't know. Whatever, don't hold me to it, next thing you know, boy. I'm paying for it. There's a German belt buckle over there, some jewelry, pocket watches, look at all that sterling. This piece, I think maybe the handle's just sterling on that, but I'm not sure. Anyway, 
847 grams of forks, 445 grams of forks, 460 grams of spoons, 149 grams of forks, some pocket knives, Union insignia, it's a World War II German stamp down there, it's a little women's gold watch back there, and there's a fun meter patch. Jewelry, Native American stuff. It's a great box full of stuff there. Some wings, World War II wings, World War One victory. Then there's the rest of the stuff that the Sterling is with. And I don't think those handles are Sterling, but. These are not marked. They sure look like they are. They should be though. I'm gonna give them another look. More stuff in there. More small stuff. Compartment stuff. Really cool. Those little hearts down there are Tiffany. More photos. World War II Army Hospital photos. unique stuff that you don't really you just don't really get an opportunity to buy anything like that just an awesome large some of them larger format radio pictures I think a lot of these like you know that guy's getting his purple freaking glare that guy's getting his purple heart pinned on him Paratrooper wearing his sunglasses in there. You can't wear those in here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You're a paratrooper. Yes, you can. You can do whatever you want. Cool. So yeah, and that's just up, you know, up front here. There's quite, quite a bit up front. Not a crazy, crazy amount, but. That cat. That's not a real World War One German hand grenade. That trumpet is badass. What'd you say that trumpet's 1909 or something? 1902. 1902 in in freaking mint condition and complete. What kind was it? It's a busher. A busher. Busher, oh yeah, True Tone, Busher True Tone. The number you see later is a almost brand new saxophone, alto saxophone. That's Gosh, a good instrument. I saw that. There are good instruments in this auction. Yeah, great instruments in this auction. Some riding boots, or work boots, or whatever you call them. That's a cool auction. You'll, you'll be here, won't you, Chad? Yeah. So Chad will play these trumpets for you. <laughs> if we're lucky. These are great bottles there. Standard oil, marked. That Bundy sax is almost brand new. There's just some really neat stuff. So... Hope you can make it. Not supposed to be, I think, high 82 or something tomorrow I saw, so. I mean, you never can tell. Mandolin. The guy said he's br he has the bridge to it, so he's bringing that, so. That's what he said, whatever that's worth. The old great bet light there. Well, it's not in there, but it's cool. A lot of fighting knives. Coins. Sort of funerary leaf wreath, I guess, but it's all hand embroidered. Took someone forever to make that. We'll need scout patrol flags. 
Paseo High School painting. Vintage toys, trains. Excuse me. Okay, so in this case here are posters like this. World War One posters. Okay. So those are framed up there, and these in here are not, and they're very fragile. So come on, guys, please handle them with care, okay? Cool. Doesn't look like anything's wrong with those. It's great. Freemason cloak and cap. War bonds, victory bonds, stuff. Navy officer jacket, Navy officer jacket, we got World War II victory, victory, victory. This is a uh, red ermine. Uh, red ermine coat there so usually uh, the ermine is uh, white but um, you know that was you know before they turned white when it was red they got that 1930s era so that's really cool okay well, we'll just go around this way I'm not sure what order we'll go in the option imagine but I imagine we will pull these toys up front awesome old toys Yeah, they've been played with. Some more than others. Just the fact that they're still even around is nothing short of a miracle. Not sure why these aren't turned on. There we go. I guess because the guys are saving energy, which was good. Yeah, both of those work. It's a cool Asian dragon over there. Look at that, just a milk carton full of holsters. Huh, butane fuel. And these, these, this is good vinyl. These are all really good vinyl in here. These should, these should bring good money get down here and look at them. There's six crates and there's some really good stuff in there. Table full of drop-offs yeah, and more. That clock. Walls aren't filled up with stuff, so we'll save some time there. Some really neat stuff. all crammed together over here this time. I think there's a couple of them gone, so. Harley Rider comic framed up there. Pretty cool. There's gonna be some sleepers up there for sure. More vintage toys and books and more over here. Funky Brewster doll, baby shortcake doll, baby strawberry shortcake. Uh huh. That's right. That's right. Awesome stuff in there. 
I want to come in and check this out, guys. Uh oh, we got trouble. Oh no, it's not trouble. It's happiness. It's good times. Gee, I sure could use a glass of milk. Ironic, isn't it? Chad loves puppets. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay. I'll go ahead and buzz by this furniture. Lately, we've been doing, we've done furniture last. Um, honestly, furniture hasn't really. I mean, we've sold some pieces for good money, you know, but all in all, furniture is just kind of. I don't know. Hadn't been what it used to. So, use that as whatever kind of economic indicator you wish. Neat desks, neat stuff. Not a ton of it. That's that sled, sleigh, and some other stuff from last week that still has to get picked up. So it's sold. Okay. I'll put a sold sign on that. It's a nice little desk back there. Um, let's see. More stuff needs to be picked up. You know who you are. Please come and make it happen. Uh, let's see, we go over here. funky stuff man I'll tell you what I'll walk down the fence and then we'll go up along the wall here and you know we've actually been doing up front and then coming over here steel gateways 27 inches wide six feet tall it's a pair Ray Liotta First thing that came to mind. Some beer stuff and and more over here. A bud light up there. This is an oldie, freaking old Brunswick, Port Jefferson, New York sign. You know, shows age, but that's that's real fake about that. Hey look, there's an illustration of the Ray Moore Sunfresh. Die cast, die cast, die cast, die cast, die cast, die cast, Grizzly Bearstein, Cougar Stein. Into case. There's gas station sign, European license plate. Flexible Imperial Flexible Fuel Lines Rack. Oh, and here's some ammo. This will this will go up, up front first, I'm sure. Bunch of 12, bunch of 20. The Winchester box. More mix down there. Okay. Uh, yeah, more stuff from that uh, hospital collection. Some posters. Some framed uh, newspaper stuff. It's really cool, man. Really, really cool stuff. Franciscan apple. Okay, we'll sell all the ceramic stuff one, and we'll sell the glasses as another set, and then, you know, we'll do choice over here with the crystal and whatnot. Um, there's some more military stuff. Some peat jackets, foul weather stuff. Old ceiling fans, like old, old, old Trojan ceiling fan. So doing this right now, this table. Be with you guys just one second. Um, more pool sticks and uh, things like that. And that's a mirror. There's some uh, cast iron, director set, electric baseball, some more old toys, more vintage stuff. All sorts of good stuff on the tables here. People 
look suspiciously like they're trying to sell me something. There's an organ, you know, they're hard to sell, but as you can could have heard earlier, it works. There's some barbed wire, big spool of barbed wire, and primitive stuff, vintage stuff. This is some kind of trophy. No, it doesn't matter. We have neat old, more old toys there. Really cool old stuff. Mike's length toe chain and uh, more. Star Wars. Gun cases. Go around here. These are, I mean, there's the ET. All that cleaned up. So more games over there. More you know, empty pistol boxes. Books. More military stuff, all those reels in there, comic books. Oh, these are got some in them. So, yeah, more ammo back here. So, all sorts of good stuff. Getting ready to wrap it up here. Let's see what these guys want. And this stuff, we'll, we'll move this up, stuff up front on this table. Nice little little selection, neat old stuff there. So yeah, that's about it. Lots of musical instruments, lots of military stuff. Um, just all, all sorts of good stuff. We'll see you guys on Thursday. Thanks.